In this video, I will break down how you can create a LAN graph, make function calls and develop a web scraper to scrape any website you like. On top of that, you can ask questions about your data and it's going to give you responses to that question. This video is going to be hugely valuable to anyone new to LangGraph and wants to very quickly wrap up their head around LangGraph, function call and web scraper tool, how they work together, how to build a chatbot and how you guys can take the same code and start to implement your project. Definitely stay tuned throughout the end of this video. If you guys haven't followed me, I highly recommend that you do so, so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn the notification, bell like this video and check out previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. So that thought, let's get right back into the video. Let's get started. To get started, you do need to download a couple of different Python libraries, namely Langchain Community, Langchain OpenAI, Langchain Core, Langgraph and Streamlit. If you haven't already done so, can simply type. Once you have done that, let's head on over to a Python file. We will be making use of the Langchain community, which contains all third party integrations. We will work with partners on splitting key integrations out into standalone packages, Langchain OpenAI to actually answer the questions that we are asking Langchain Core contains simple core abstractions that have emerged as a standard as well as Langchain expression language as a way to compose these components together. Langgraph. Langgraph is a library for building stateful multi-actor applications with LLMs built on top of Langchain. Streamlit. Streamlit lets you turn Python scripts into web apps in minutes without needing to know any JavaScript or HTML. We set the title of the Streamlit web application as Langgraph plus function call plus Amazon scraper. Then we create a drop down select box in the sidebar of the Streamlit application, allowing the user to choose a model from the provided options GPT-4 Turbo Preview, GPT-3.5 Turbo, GPT-3.5 Turbo Instruct. Create a text input field in the sidebar where the user can enter their OpenAI API key. The type equal password parameter indicates that the input will be hidden, as is typical for sensitive information like API keys. If the user has entered an API key, this code sets an environment variable named OpenAI API key to the value entered by the user, creates a text input field where the user can enter some text. The label enter your input here is displayed above the input field, creates a button in the Streamlit app with the label run workflow. If, if the button is clicked, the condition evaluates to true. Otherwise it evaluates to false, creates a spinner widget in the Streamlit app with the message running workflow. We create a function called create agent that takes in a language model, a list of tools and a system prompt. It then creates a prompt template to generate a prompt from a series of messages. Then we use create open AI tools, agent API to construct the agent. We pass LLM tools and prompt family. We use agent executor to execute an agent. Let's create the create supervisor function. We define a system prompt that provides context to the supervisor. It includes placeholders for the list of agents. Define a function for the supervisor with details like name, description, and parameters specify in the input expected from the supervisor. Then we use prompt template to create a message for a string prompt. Then return a composition of objects representing the supervisor's prompt, the binding of functions to the language model and a parser for JSON output functions. We define a function named researcher that takes a list of URLs as input and we use a tool to scrape the web. Then we use web base loader to scrape the URL and load it. The code will iterate through each document in the list. Finally, the function returns a single string containing all the formatted documents, defines a function called analyze that takes a string as input content and simulates a conversation with a large language model LLM to analyze market trends and suggest a winning product for Amazon. 
we define a function called expert acts as a tool that interacts with an open AI chatbot to provide expertise related to dropshipping based on the provided content. The function sends messages to the chatbot, receives a response and returns it. Additionally, it initializes another instance of chat open AI name LLM with a specific model. We define three AI agents for identifying and selling profitable products on Amazon. Scraper agent gathers data from Amazon, likely by scraping product information. Analyzer agent analyzes the scraped data from the scraper agent to identify potential winning products with high sales potential. Expert agent acts as an expert buyer, analyzing product information to advise whether it's worth selling a specific product. We set values to researcher, analyzer, expert, and supervisor, which represent different types of agents, list them for reference, and define a structured representation of agent states using a typed dictionary. Define several functions for building a modular conversation system. Scraper node gathers information using a scraper agent and returns it as a message. Analyzer node analyzes data using an analyzer agent and returns the results as a message. Expert node consults domain expertise using an expert agent and returns the insights as a message. Supervisor node sets up the conversation flow, manages agents, and generates messages using an LLM. This code defines a workflow for a multi-stage process where the supervisor manages different roles, researcher, analyzer, expert, and decides the next step based on the current state and the next value in the agent state. We're going to iterate through a stream of messages, likely from a graph database or messaging system, and display them with visual separators. We're going to iterate through a stream of messages, likely from a graph database or messaging system, and display them with visual separators. Let's try it out, scrape this website URL, and find the winning product to resell it with high profit. Here is the output, feel free to use it. Let's wrap it up. We have built a fairly advanced chatbot capable of scraping any website and answering questions asked to it using LangGraph, function calls, and a web scraper. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Stay tuned to this series because I'm pretty sure there's a lot more to come. In the next article, I can't wait to see what you will build based on what you have learned here. Thanks for reading and keep spreading your love. Cheers.